Am I doing this right? I'm not sure. So you are joining me on my little walk home. Hey everybody, this is Real Not Perfect, the guy who wrote the Overwoods and sang a whole bunch of things. And I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do a bat walk over. Good luck to me. Hello survivors, it is your fellow survivor, Real Not Perfect, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to do a backwalkover. So one of the really important things you want to remember when you are learning your backwalkover is... I'm all right, man. First, you steal my charger, you steal my t shirt. And are you really filming a back walkover tutorial in a room full of other people's instruments? I, 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 okay, I don't know what else you want me to do, okay? It's two in the morning. I, I don't have a place to go. Do you think I care? It's the only quiet place here. And it's really like, yeah, apparently not too late for you to steal my t-shirt. You really think I care? Okay, and who exactly are you to tell me where, when, and how I should make a video? Dude, I'm literally you. I'm just standing over here wearing a different t-shirt and holding a charger. How are you me if I'm over here? Dude, you literally just changed your t-shirt, changed the camera angle, and you walked over here and grabbed a charger. Okay, yeah, just go out alone in the middle of the night. You do it all the time. I'll go. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah. And give me my shirt back. All right, so let's all go find a place where we can go and do back walkovers. Hey, hey. Hey, it's real not perfect. And I don't know why I'm doing an intro for a second time. I just felt like it. I don't know. <laughs> Hey everybody, walking around all alone at 3 a.m. in the middle of night, coming at you very aggressively. Walking backwards, because I'm normal like that. I'm having a really bad day, so... You know, I swear that on a normal day, I would kind of care where I was going, but I haven't even been looking around. Don't know where I'm gonna end up, but we'll see. This video was supported in part psychologically by Visteria. Although 88% of its players are either extremely unintelligent and or mentally unstable and or metaphorically and or literally gambling addicts, the 12% are really cool and you can make really good friends. If I play it for one hour, I get to die 900 times. Shoutouts again to Elaine, Rose, ANR 2015, Willow, and half of the Visteria staff because that's all the staff I've met. Привет, Азрил, Джусик, Винтер, Иде, Ви, Утивительни, И Замечательни, Юди. And everybody else in your respective Discord servers. Visteria, find your inner gambling addict, I, I guess. I don't know, man, I only play like once a month for like 10 minutes now. Very friendly this summer. You may stop watching the video now. However, if you wish to continue, I will eventually be discussing my opinions, my perspective, my ideas, tips, tricks, strategies, and steps as to how I personally have taught myself and others to be back model. I feel like people may or may not ask, but in case it comes up, I have retired to be back canceling due to a very specific life event slash occurrence. I may or may not ever decide to create a back canceling tutorial. If you are here, I already love you, and thank you for watching. If it sounds like I'm not to cry, well, yes, I can as well be successful I lack power and flexibility in many areas, in my opinion, and as my backwalkovers are very modified. I will not be responsible for any injuries that includes cringeries, that means injuries from cringe, and I already said that earlier, politely, we love rainbows, cookies, affection, and marshmallows, you ain't no in the video. Or, you can just be watching to see me stupid and totally depressed and totally traumatized. Oh, and me, well, look, cheese. And there you go. I gave my disclaimer. If you missed the marks, then why are you making it worse? Have fun with
when the scissors come back when you burn Have fun when the scissors come back when you learn Now, in my opinion, there are two very important things that need to be addressed before I start teaching you the back walk over. Okay, first things first. One, my teeth are terrible. My teeth are terrible. Okay, and two, I have no talent, but I'm still gonna teach you the back walk over anyway. Two, I have no talent, but I'm still gonna teach you the back walk over. And I have reason to believe that this cat over here is rooting for me as well. Hello there. There is a lot of loud music over here, so I am going to have to continue in voiceover. Don't forget to check out your local Burger King, because usually they have burgers. Also, Wolf Cry is by me and Thundershock. Wolf Cry is out on Spotify along with the solo acoustic version, No Bullets. You can go check that out. I will leave a link in the description. The Overwoods is free on one of my little blogs and on Neoval and I believe on Royal Road as well. We are back in the random instruments room. It's real not perfect. I'm gonna do a back walk over. This video was sponsored by Cinnamon Roll. Hmm. Ah! First thing we are gonna tackle is prerequisites. Things that people say you gotta have this skill, you gotta have this ability before the back walk over. Back bend, the back bend come up, the bridge, the bridge kick over. I am not one to agree oftentimes with very popular opinions, but in this case, yes. You do need at least a bridge kick over. I skipped the back bend come up. I know you saw me do a lot of those, but I learned the back bend come up after I learned the back bend kick over thingy, the back walk over. I guess I'm normal like that. <laughs> I will demonstrate the back bend kick over a few times. I will also demonstrate the bridge kick over a few times. Please do note, my back walk overs are horrible, in my opinion. Some people will see them, some people have seen them and say, oh, you're really good at that. And I'm like, I, my shoulders are uh, destroyed. My feet and legs are destroyed, and I... <laughs> Shoulders are destroyed. Feet and legs are destroyed. I have a million injuries everywhere. Next thing we are gonna talk about is hand placement. A lot of people, at least people I've observed when I've tried to teach random friends how to do this, is there is a bit of a tendency when you're going back, when you're going backwards, you gotta get your palms to the ground, and they gotta look like this, okay? This is very important. You can't have one of them turning to the side because it feels like that's gonna help some people, apparently. At least when I was trying to teach people, some people thought, oh, I'm gonna just turn this one a little bit, that's gonna help me. I'm gonna say no. In my experience, that is not a good idea. You don't have to immediately do the kickover if you're just learning it. Learn to just fall backwards, arch your body, hips forward, push these out. You want to think of it that way. Your shoulder angle has to be open. You're falling backwards. You want to imagine there is an 
invisible, but very tangible. You have to think like it's, it's there. It's like a laser beam. It's gonna cut me in half if I fall onto it. Imagine a parallel, I don't know, a bar laser thingy right there, right behind your hips. So that way you're like, shoot, man, I gotta push my hips forward and I really gotta make sure this shoulder angle right here is good. I will demonstrate that later as well. Once your hands and your palms have touched, at least for me, when I was learning it completely on my own, again, most of my life, I did not have access to YouTube. I'm trying to make up for it now, you know? <laughs> I spend a lot of my life on the internet now just to make up for it. The moment I feel these on the ground, that's when I start to push. Now, I believe in gymnastics, and I should have started with this disclaimer, I should have started with this disclaimer, I am not a professional gymnastics coach. I'm barely a gymnast, I'm barely a martial artist, I barely do any parkour because everything I learned I did it completely on my own and I think I'm pretty, I'm pretty bad at them. These touch the ground, that's when I push off of my heels. Again, I believe in gymnastics, a lot of people say one of your legs has got to be raised, point your toes, make sure everything's tight. I believe that's how they do it. But this is just for people like us, you know? We are not the youngest people on the planet. I am certainly not. <laughs> and some of us might just be regular people, like me. I have a full-time job. We don't dedicate too much time to dance, to gymnastics, or whatever sport we like to do in our free time. We do it when we can, which is completely understandable. Okay. Third thing I want to talk about is a tip I have shared with a couple of people. It doesn't work for everyone, but it worked for me. So when I was starting getting my back walkover, or the very first time teaching it to myself, I think I think around 2016 was when I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna go backwards and like, the moment my <laughs> palms hit the floor, I'm gonna like push off and you know, see what happens and see if it works. Now, remember how I said earlier that in gymnastics, they kind of insist on you got to have one of your legs like already up, like one of your legs has already got to be up. Everything straight, everything tight. That's perfect. That's really good in gymnastics. But again, for people like us, we might have full time jobs or school and a job. You know, I unfortunately, I know how that feels. And this is just something we like to do in our free time. So I and I'm sure you saw it in the videos. I kind of cheat my back walkovers. I wait until the last possible minute, like you'll notice, you'll notice when I throw my torso backwards, it's not even throwing it, it's like, okay, I'm slowly gonna bring it backward, and once I feel like maybe I'm a little bit parallel to the ground, that's when, all right, now my hands are coming over. And another thing that some people, some people really believe is, and it's fine to be taught this, but if you're just trying to get the skill, this is what I did. A lot of people believe, hey, straight arms, and you're going, oh, straight backward. Guess what? As far as arm position, that is not the only way. And I will demonstrate this as well. You can have them up, that's perfectly fine. I do that sometimes. But if I don't feel like it, or my shoulders are really not in a good place, and that happens to me quite often, Maybe not that often, but it happens to me more often than I'd like to admit. You can have them a little bit sideways, and that can work. I will demonstrate that in a little bit. So it looks like it's recording me right now. For, for the minute, it's recording me. All right, so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna demonstrate the kind where your arms basically kind of go up, and then the kind that basically it goes a little bit more sideways with your arms. So this one is more or less going to go up. And then this one is going to go more or less to the side. 
as you can see, there is kind of more than just one way to kind of, sort of, get the same trick, same flip, out of a slightly different movement. So again, it is not completely necessary to have one leg raised up like that once you're down hitting the ground with your hands. That's not absolutely necessary. You can make it a little bit more like a back limber. A back limber. You can make it a little bit more like that. So you're going backwards, hands on the ground, and then you push off, and then I, okay, you don't have to do it like me. Do what works for you. These are my tips and how I got it. Do what works for you. Okay, once my hands are on the ground, I treat it like it's a back limber a little bit, and then I go into my handstand. I put that in quotes because handstands are not supposed to be arched. They're supposed to be perfectly straight. I'm sure you've noticed that every single one of all of my handstands are arched. And they're not supposed to look like that. Handstands are not supposed to be arched. Holy crap, man. And another thing, bonus point. There's a very common misconception I hear people say like, oh, you gotta have crazy strong arms to do a back walkover. Have you seen my arms? Like, how they're sticks. These, these things. I'm sorry, I could do a trillion push-ups and I've tried that and they will still look like sticks. So my point is when you do, because you're not gonna give up, you're gonna be really good at this, you're not gonna give up, you are one day gonna get to where you wanna go, as long as you don't give up, you're gonna do it a million times better than me. I may or may not remember a few more tips later, but again, you're standing, for me, what I do, okay, you wanna push your hips forward. You're standing, you're standing, you're standing, you're going back a little bit, push the hips forward, you're ready to go into your bridge. You're ready to go into your bridge. Your hands touch the ground, the moment your palms, this is not even a requirement, but that's how I did it. The moment I feel like, okay, my palms have kind of sort of made it, I kind of feel that push. It's not just my feet that are working when I'm pushing off of the ground. So once I've hit it, I feel pretty much my entire lower body along with the lower part of my torso kind of pushing me into that little back limber for lack of any other better terminologies. And then I go into what I consider is my handstand. My very, very arched handstand, sorry. So I keep my legs up, and because I'm kind of a righty, I bring my right leg first. I don't know how many people are gonna see this video. I don't know if I'm gonna enable comments, because everybody knows that most of the time I do not enable comments. Sometimes I do, some of my videos have open comments or whatever. But I hope one or two or a few of my tips has helped you. This is Real Not Perfect, your fellow survivor. I wish you all the happiness in the world. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, I don't know, watch it again. <laughs> If, if, if you like if you, if you liked this video, that's what people say. That's totally what people say. I, I did this right. I'm gonna go. I do not own this guitar. But it looks really cute. Um, okay, so, um, voiceover, yay. I, uh, uh, mm, mm. So I'm not even looking at the material. I have no way right now of looking at the video. And I am really depressed. Nobody asked that, and that is not very relevant to the video. <laughs> I'm going to be cutting and splitting this a lot. Ooh, okay. So, I'm going to pretend that I'm looking at the footage, which I'm not doing, and the, the video is going to take 10 years just to edit, <laughs> and it's going to be like a 15-minute video. All right. So you stand, I personally recommend you face a wall. Raise both arms. Make them as straight as you can, at least when you're standing, okay? You push your hips forward slightly. You drop your torso backward, and I like to throw my head back 
a little bit at the last moment, almost like when my chest and upper body is kind of sort of parallel to the ground. Once my hands touch the ground, that's when I push off of usually my right leg first. Sometimes I do them both at the same time, and for me, it's really quick. I go with my right leg first, and then my left leg will follow immediately after. I quote-unquote snap them into my... I call it my handstand position. It's not the best handstand position. People are like, don't arch, don't arch. But hey, I, I never trained formally. Once I've snapped to that handstand position, I hold that position. That's just what works for me. You do what works for you. A lot of people, so they'll push off, for example, they will push off of their right leg first and really concentrate on bringing that right leg all the way over that arc motion like i want to call it the well depending on how you're looking at the back walk over what angle you're looking at it from it could be kind of a counterclockwise arch or the other way around a lot of people will focus on that all right i'm gonna push off of this leg and this leg better get it this leg had better get to the other side. Hopefully that made a little bit of sense. It probably didn't. So I'm going to recap. You stand. I, again, I say be in the middle of the room. Be kind of parallel to a wall. That's just how I like to do it. Raise both arms if you want to do it the conventional way. I will I will kind of break down and demonstrate the other way where you don't really raise both arms up by your head. There is kind of a way to do that. Again, I will demonstrate that later. But for the minute, you stand, raise both arms up by your head, fall into your bridge. So keep in mind there's a bar behind you right behind right there behind your butt like kind of above your hips i think of it like it's a really hot bar it's gonna burn you you can't touch it this kind of forces your hips forward a little bit which is what you want and then that's when you go backwards with your upper body again personally i kind of delay throwing my head back most of the time arms up 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 hands touch the ground once you feel the hands on the ground, that's when I, what I like to do, I push off. My right leg goes first, my left leg follows as immediately as I can. You, Some people like to make it look like there's a huge split when you do your back walk over. Obviously, as you can see from the video, I have my own kind of unique way of how I learned it and as a result, how I love to do it now. Once I've quote unquote snapped to my quote unquote handstand position, I hold it for a little bit, sometimes longer. Sometimes I do a little bit of a pirouette on my hands, as you may or may not see from the video. And that's when I will lower, so I'm in that handstand position, I will allow typically my right leg to go back down, to lower itself back onto the ground first, and then the left one follows. Hmm. You know what? This <clears throat> this gym right here has a lot of background like sounds and conversations and just really wow, like pounding just really loud like rap music. I I do like a, some rap music, <laughs> but you know yeah, I mean, I'm doing everything in voiceover. Voiceover! I can't even talk to the camera because there's just so much, like, noise and uh, heavy uh, pounding of the music. You know what? I should... <sighs> you know what? I'm... I'm leaving. I'm... Uh, I'm... I'm leaving this... Uh, I'm leaving this gym. It's just... It's not... It's not gonna work. I don't... I don't... I can't... I should probably go back to the instrument room thingy. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, that was that was a totally normal laugh. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching the video, and if you liked it, you can always watch it again.